This is David Spears, civil engineering instructor at Texas Tech University, talking about CE 3303 solids. We're in chapter 9 now, talking about plane stress transformation. Uh, the word transformation means to change the form of something. In this case, to change the form of the stress. Look, look at a, an example of a thin wall pressure vessel where we have... Um, in the y and x coordinates uh, a hoop stress that is in y direction and uh, longitudinal stresses which is in the x direction so we can calculate those and show it a little stress element here but we may want to find the stresses on another orientation another element oriented at a different angle and so we might say at an angle of 30 degrees from the horizontal, rotated uh, counterclockwise. So what are the stresses parallel to that line and perpendicular to that line? And so uh, we need to be able to figure those. It's the same state of stress on the thin wall pressure vessel, but it's just uh, the stresses vary as, uh, according to the orientation within the, uh, the, the body. So purpose is to transform the stresses from one coordinate system to another orientation. We're going to use the sign convention of positive stresses are tension when they're normal stresses and they are outward from the element sigma x positive and sigma y positive and then we're going to define positive shear stress as up on the right side of the element. So that's tau, positive tau xy. And then if we rotate it, another part of our sign convention is we're going to consider counterclockwise rotation to be positive. So here I've shown an element rotated some angle positive counterclockwise. And then I draw my x and y coordinate systems there centered on this right face. And... I draw my new X prime and Y prime coordinate systems centered on the element intersecting that X and Y coordinate system and I show here Y prime is now up and slightly to the left X prime is now to the right and slightly up and now I show my new uh, transformed or rotated uh, stresses positive sigma y prime is up that way away from the face same thing for positive sigma x prime and positive tau x prime y prime is still positive up on the right side so that's consistent with the whole uh, Hibbler system of sign, sign uh, conventions then he does a equilibrium of forces analysis. We cuts a section through this element which is just a not rotated X and Y coordinate system and here I've blown it up a little bit so I cut this section that is perpendicular as I say step one is cut the section perpendicular to the angle of rotation which is like that. My angle of rotation is up like that so that the section cut is perpendicular to that and then I do a free body diagram of that section that I've cut off of the uh, stress element and I do a sum of forces remembering that force is equal to stress times area so look in the book if you want to see a more detailed uh, version of this but uh, I've got my sigma y st stress down here sigma x times the area over which it's applied of that little triangle block and tau xy on that side and tau xy on this side times the area over which they're applied and they've got to be balanced by the stresses on that cut section which are tau x prime y prime times that area which is delta a and sigma x prime over that area same area delta a I do a sum of forces in the x prime direction and I'll get sigma x prime because the delta a's cancel out same thing do, do a sum of forces in the f 
in the, the sum of forces in the y prime direction is zero, and I can get tau x prime y prime. And then I can repeat that by cutting another section perpendicular or parallel to the angle of rotation, perpendicular to this angle. It's like a little section like that. I'm using the bottom part. And I can repeat this process to get sigma y prime. Okay, I can do some math and combine things, and you'll see it in the book if you want to, to look at it in more detail. But I end up with these stress equations. Sigma x prime is this expression. Sigma y prime is this expression. Note that this is just plus here and plus here, and it's for sigma y it's minus and minus, those terms. And tau x prime y prime, the shear stress is equal to negative this term plus this term. Okay, it's best to let's look at an example. This is example 9.2 from the book where he gives you this state of stress in the xy coordinate system. Positive 50 for sigma y prime, I mean sigma y. Negative 80 because it's compression for sigma x. Shown it, written it there. And my shear stress is 25 megapascals, but it's down on the right side, so it's negative. So here I've written them out. And my angle of rotation is 30 degrees clockwise, so that makes it a negative angle of rotation by my sign convention up here. So now it really just, here I've drawn the element rotated 30 degrees. I've taken this element and rotated it 30 degrees clockwise. And here I just plug and chug into the equations, and I get that sigma x prime is negative 25.8 megapascals. This does become very confusing. I've got all these negative signs and negative angles, and you've got to keep track of it and be careful. Then I can plug into this equation for sigma y prime, and really I'm just putting a minus sign there and a minus sign there versus the pluses here. And I get sigma y prime is negative 4.15 megapascals. It's interesting to note here, as he does in his example, the sigma y prime is the same for negative 30 degrees rotation. It's this stress. It's the same thing I get if I rotate it clock counterclockwise 60 degrees, as I've shown up here. Then this is sigma, this becomes sigma x prime in my equation because I'm using an angle of rotation of positive 60. Here's the numbers all written out and lo and behold I get the same answer, negative 4.15 megapascals for the, the normal stress in that direction. Whether I call it y prime or x prime, it's the same number. Uh, finally I do the shear stress, x prime, y prime and that's just plugging in these numbers into this equation and I come up with negative 68.8 megapascals. Okay, we're going to want you to show that on a stress element and here is how that is done, what it looks like.